What's up guys, Phil here from Playground Sessions YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Today I'm showing you one of my favorites from when I was a teenager, a rock tune by a band called Nirvana, and this song is called Smells Like Teen Spirit. I'm bringing you the beginner level arrangement of this, our rookie version from the Playground Sessions song store. So all you beginners out there, good luck. That section we're gonna be learning today sounds like this. Of course we have the intermediate and the advanced level arrangement of this same song in the Playground Sessions app. And no matter what difficulty level you are, we've got the full song with all the parts in the app. You won't see a video lesson for every single segment, but you will have interactive feedback, which means the app grades you as you play. For a limited time, we're doing a free trial for 30 days, a full month of a free monthly membership, no strings attached. Click the link in the description of this video to start your free trial today. Let's start by breaking this song and this video down by learning the right hand melody first. First step, let's take a look at our key signature. I see one sharp, that's an F sharp. That means we're either in the key of G major or E minor. Both of those keys have the same key signature of one sharp. But here, specifically, we're in the key of E minor and you'll see that our bass note that we play in the left hand revolves around that E. So that just tells us Pretty sure we're in E minor here. Time signature, 2-2. Two, two. Also known as halftime feel for common time or cut common time. Now let's talk hand position. We're starting with our third finger on G above middle C. Our next finger for the next note is two on F sharp. Don't forget the key signature. Okay, so that's our position. We're gonna reach up by one note. Fifth finger is not gonna play B, but C. And then, fourth finger is now on B, but it's gonna jump down to play A during that next quarter rest in measure seven. Now we're shifted back to our starting point. Then we keep moving. Same as the beginning. Fifth finger reaches up to C. And then fourth finger back down to A. And that's it. So why don't we try this at our full tempo, and then we'll break down the left hand. One, two, set, go. So far, now let's talk left hand bass notes. Now, when we arrange songs for harder difficulties like intermediate and advanced, the left hand will be playing chords and certain patterns, but for the rookie level arrangements, typically we just play root notes or single notes that normally would be played by a bass. Here, you can see by looking at the notation on screen, we've got all whole notes, all single notes. So we're going to get into a position that is just wider than a five note position. We're gonna be pretty low, starting on this low E with our fifth finger. Next note is A with our two finger, then G with the third finger, and C with the first finger. So basically we're in an E position down here, but thumb is gonna be on C instead of B. And those four notes just cycle through in order. So we've got E, A, G, C, and then that repeats does that four times in a row. So, I think that's all there is to it. Why don't we jump into the full tempo of this one as well. One, two, set, go. Rest and E, A, G, C, repeat. Look ahead, same thing. Nice work. Now let's put these hands together. The main trick to putting these together is gonna to be to remember that at the beginning of each new measure, the right hand is holding a note from the measure before, the left hand plays the downbeat, and the right hand plays immediately after. Let me show you an example of what I mean. Measure one and two, for example. We start with just the right hand, and this note is gonna hold over into the next measure. 
left hand plays on the downbeat while the right hand is holding. Then, while the left hand's holding, the right hand plays again. So those two measures again go like this. Right, left, right. Then the left hand changes to an A, and that pattern starts again. Even though there's different notes, the rhythms are the same. Right, left, right. So I want you to walk through this without time, without any tempo. Pause the video, walk through and do what I just did. Don't worry about if you're getting to the next one in time. Just worry about whether they're playing at the same time or when they're playing separately. Go through that a handful of times, then meet me back here and we'll try this together at our medium tempo. One, two, set, go. in the description of this video you can start your free trial and test out the app for 30 days with no strings attached so i encourage you to finish this song in the app for free and use the rest of this month to explore what else the app has to offer it's really really cool all right well let's wrap up this video it smells like teen spirit by nirvana the rookie level arrangement of the chorus both hands full tempo let's do it Great job, give yourselves a round of applause. I'm Phil, I'll see you guys soon for more lessons. The features you saw on screen today can be at your fingertips with the Playground Sessions app. Co-created by music legend Quincy Jones, Playground teaches the piano with interactive feedback and gaming features, all while using your favorite songs. All right guys, I'm Phil, hit subscribe so I can see you for the next video.